Randomizers have become one of the latest and greatest fads for gaming, with many retro and modern games receiving a randomizer mod at some point. If you're not familiar with what a randomizer is, it effectively shuffles or randomizes certain aspects of the game to give it a roguish feel. Whether it be items, enemies, or the world itself, there are many good ones to freshen up your favorite game. In this video, I'm going to go over 5 of the best ones and their features and discuss some of the fun challenges that accompany them. The first on our list is the Dark Souls Fog Wall Randomizer, which randomizes where fog walls take you for both Dark Souls 1 and 3. This randomizer is customizable in allowing many usually inactive fog walls to be turned on and turn the entire world into a maze. However, what makes this interesting is the synergy it has with the Souls game's world style. With the Souls games having good interaction with the environment and the player, this randomizer creates a whole new experience in ways a vanilla game would never have you do, unless you happen to make poor life choices and do early catacombs. This randomizer works well with the item randomized for these games and can make a fairly fun roguelike experience. The Zelda Link to the Past randomizer has been a thing for quite some time, but a recent venture called the Door randomizer which can shuffle how dungeons are laid out is now available. This is honestly quite the feat and only one step lower than generating full dungeons automatically. However, that may not happen due to its complexity, but if you're interested in the math behind it, Becky Lavender has a thesis dedicated to the topic which can be a fun read for the mathematically inclined. This randomizer as it stands is a marvel already and turns the most interesting aspect of the game, the dungeons, into a randomizable thing themselves. On top of that, the world is soon to be randomized as well for screen transitions. With these new features, this makes the Link to the Past randomizer one of the most feature-filled randomizers out there. Though there are quite a few others that exist for the series, effectively all Zelda games have been randomized up to Skyward Sword, and if you're like me who has played these games since they were 4, you'll enjoy reliving the magic all over again. The Pokemon randomizer is next on our list, and while it is a fairly standard one, has quite a few interesting challenges connected to it. Being able to randomize everything from items to types to evolutions, you have a whole new game ahead of you. However, the randomizers lately had a new challenge fad come out of it, the Iron Mon Challenge, a permadeath hardcore style run that features excruciatingly difficult settings and rules. So whether you're looking for a fun experience or fancy yourself a masochist like me, you'll find endless fun with this one. The next on our list is the Hollow Knight Randomizer, a very custom old randomizer to make a nice new adventure or a scavenger hunt for the ages. You can customize the type of items you'd like to randomize from key items to normal items to spells to geo rocks and even soul totems. Depending upon how painful you want things to be, this gives you amazing control over your experience. If you're looking for a full new game to play, couple this with the room randomizer and you'll essentially have a full new world to explore. The last randomizer on our list is the Final Fantasy 1 randomizer for the original Final Fantasy. One reason this randomizer appeals to me is the desire for a good, hardcore roguelike RPG where Darkest Dungeon has left me wanting. You can customize the difficulty to where enemies are to what they can do to the usual item shuffles for fresh adventures. There are also systems to customize the balance of the game and to create scaled weapons with the Blur system. With Blur's weapons and classes, each weapon and class will have bonuses and detriments associated with them making each class a bit unique and different armor weapons fit into new situations. Compared to many other randomizers out there, this is definitely the most unique and a very welcome addition for retro fans.